on the slot. Looks big. Val score. Tavares trying to snap a 10-game goalless drunk. Longest since his rookie year. Had seven shots on Wednesday night against Lord Bosquois. It'll come back to Sandberg. Scores! Dylan Sandberg breaks the ice early tonight. At 4.13 of the first period tonight. Well, and you saw the reaction. This is just a simple dump in that it turns the puck over. Sandberg with traffic in front. That reaction is one because he hasn't scored in 76 games. And here's just a great example of get traffic in front. You can see Samsonov is in pretty good position at the top of his blue, but he's late. Around it comes, it gets past Giordano and out to center. And here's a pass, Lowry in! Club stop, out beyond the blue for Ilya Samsonov. Marner gonna try and dig it out. Lowry got it loose and steals, and Lowry's gonna break! Lowry stopped by Samsonov. Out comes Robertson. He turns back. Now Domi just plays it inside the line, and Aya follows there. There's a turnover. Holmberg, Domi, Robertson, and the rebound bounce back over his stick. And Nick Robertson shows you that quick release once again. That's always being ready to shoot. I mean, that's a move that Domi's trying to keep it himself through his legs, and Came right into the wheelhouse of Robertson and a nice save there by Hellebuck off a good quick shot. The backspin on that pass it stopped up for Lilligren, but now here comes the counter for Nate Schmidt. Schmidt off the side of the cage and Samsonov will cover the rebound. After it goes Nyes up against Morrissey. Devello up the boards and Winnipeg's out. Morrissey jumping to lead the rush. On the right side, back to Niederreiter, and off Samsonov. 91.4 miles an hour for Piag, who had 10 goals last year. There's a turnover, and Noah Gregor's on it. Got Reeves in front, scores! Ryan Reeves, back home, and he's tied it. He feels the heat on his back. He knows that he's got pressure coming from Reeves, but instead of allowing, look at Morse, he's got his head up. He's going to clear the zone and make a play, and it's the poke check by Hellebuck that keeps it alive. Reeves just stops himself in front, and all the talk of him with the injury, the games that he's missed, and over a month that he hasn't played, and this is a simple example of posting up in front, and what a 19-11, the time of the goal that has tied it. Reeves with his second. That shot deflected loose in front. And Bertucci scores! Oh, with a wave of traffic in front. As Nylander's on one side, he gets pushed in by DeMello. So that's going to be something that will be looked at. There was no hesitation by Beach in terms of calling it off. But the question now, did the whistle go to blow the end of the play? It goes off the skate with that challenge to go have a better look at it at the Situation Room in Toronto. You be the judge here. Where is he at the start? Clearly into the goaltender off to Mello. So, well, and then he, he doesn't engage with Hellebuck after that. There's one little elbow there and then another tap that pushes Hellebuck back. And at that point, Hellebuck has no idea where the puck is. Once he gets that look to his left, he can't find it again as it hits Tavares and goes back to Bertuzzi. Only four for four on challenges this year. And... After Toronto's coaches challenge, it was determined that there was goalie interference. There's no goal. Toronto's charge two minutes for delay a game. Now it's Nylander the other way. William Nylander's in. Stop, rebound. And Hellebuck covers. The puck comes up to center. Matthews trying to take it away and does. Here's Matthews on the backhand and that leaps through Hellebuck and up the other side. Out comes Mason Appleton over the line. Checked there by McCabe. Tavares turns. Bertuzzi's loose. Nylander on the other side. And Hellebuck the stop. Nylander around. There's Healers with it. 
Ehlers under duress, floats to the line, but not out. Here's Connor to the middle, walked again, walks not rebound, stopped again, and another rebound chance for Nemestikov. Spun inside the line, lost it, and now he'll head to the bench. What a change. Out comes Matthews to try and finish the kill. Velarde hit by Connor, great stop, rebound loose, all off the bounce with Samsonov to close the gap. Willigren scoops it out to center ice. It's handed off to Domi in flight. Hot shot, rebound. Robertson testing Hellebuck. Tied up by Appleton, who kicked it loose. That one sent to the net with Nylander on the doorstep once again. There's Nylander sliding it through Bertuzzi. Sprawling. 88 back to Marner. Matthews lurking up here. On the right side, shot scored! Morgan Riley and Tavares with the tip has bumped the slump. Well, we saw Sandberg look skyward when he scored for the Jets early, and Tavares drought of his career since being a rookie. And there's just what he does so well. That high tip and his reaction, you know, was a little bit delayed. I'm not sure he even saw it go in, but he's got good positioning there on Sandberg. Gets enough of it, and Hellebuck goes to use his blocker, and it goes underneath his arm. And, you know, you saw at the start. I, I thought Nylander maybe wasted one early, but the mindset. Sandberg, there's the shot, and that deflected wide. Side of the net, loose in front, and it went through the blue paint with him. Toronto looking for its... Fifth consecutive win over the Jets. Won both meetings last year. Four to one. Samper drops his stick. Lost to Tavares. Stopped by Hellebuck. A big save. Nylander. 34. To Marner and back. Morgan Riley on the right side. There he is. In front to Tavares. Matthews scores. There's number 20. There's point number 600. guy on the ice that you don't want to give a nice juicy one-timer in the high slot it's 34 but you can see just a tight triangle there defensively and once the first opportunity didn't happen there was no hesitation from Mitch Marner where this one was going to go a bouncing puck through the crease a one-timer right in the wheelhouse good traffic in front by Tavares and there was no hesitation swept across still in the zone Sandberg played it wide of the cage Perfetti's on it. There's Benoit for the Leafs. Turns, fires, and scores! Sabat Benoit with his first as a Leaf from 196 feet. And like the two games a year ago, it's 4-1 Toronto. He's able to get off and then the quick little strip of the puck in the corner and a quick turnaround that just goes inside that. There's a puck in front. Samson off down. Tied up by McCabe. Dried loose. Back to Peon. And Morrissey. Backdoor play. Bounced in. Scores. Finish there by. Makes it 4-2. to two. Well, look at the scramble as this one pops out and finally finds its way to the back of the net. As it goes around, oh, it hits right off of McCabe in the back. He's but the Leafs win the home and home and take their 25th victory of the season as Toronto wins it 4-2.